before you can be great at anything, you have to be great at, at you. Like you have to get your health right, that's the movement. You have to start reflecting, going deep thought, in prayer, meditation, whatever that looks like for you. And then you have to grow mentally because the more you know and you grow, the better you should be. What separates great performers or people that are great at what they do or successful or who generate from a financial perspective in that different income bracket is they do what average people don't do. There's something that they do that average people don't do or below average people don't do. What sets you apart? Because everybody here wants to be great at what they do, right? In life and in business. But what are you gonna do to get there? What are you gonna do with you? We talked yesterday about what's working for you, what's not working for you. And what's great is when we can come around and sit together as a group and just listen to great stuff and write great gems on the white sheet of paper on the whiteboard and have great dialogue and you can take notes and we can laugh and joke. But I'm saying, what are you doing to really set yourself apart? There's one thing that separates those people that are at the top of their craft or successfully financed, they execute. So like I know we out here and it's hot and it's uncomfortable and some of y'all sweating and you feel like you need to go take a shower before we eat, but it's in that uncomfortable that your greatest growth takes place. So those things that aren't at the top three, your effort level might not be there. And it's okay. This is just about self-awareness. You're not going to get successful unless you become self-aware. Whatever I'm doing, I'm still going. I don't sleep sometime at night. I don't sleep at all. I still get up and I move and I just keep going because I have learned that when I increase my effort in one area, it carries over into every other area. The question is, what is that one area for you that you need to increase momentum? That you need to pick up momentum that'll carry over into the other important areas of your life. Identifying those three most important areas in your life, are they important today? But what happens is, if you never step out of your block or your neighborhood or your house, you don't know what life looks like. There's nothing stopping you from experiencing and learning and growing. And that's what this part of this is about. Like you increase effort by putting yourself in a different environment or you can identify the most important areas of your life when you become self-aware in the season that you're in. This weekend was phenomenal. Like being around a group of powerful entrepreneurs, powerful couples and just powerful individuals was like a wake up call for me. It was like, if I really want to win in life and business, I have to change certain things in my life. And I just had the right environment and people around me to make that happen. And now they're going to hold me accountable. It's just, it's just everything. I'm excited about what's going to happen. Find your area of specialty and, and let's hone it. But you need to do life and business. Nowhere in there is it it's life and speaking. Speaking is a service. Coaching is a service. But you got to get your life together and change your mindset and put yourself in an environment of people that are generating revenue and their life is on something different. Everything that I'm doing, I'm doing for the family. You're doing it for the family, but you're not doing it with the family. And that's a difference. And with the family doesn't mean that the family is in the business, but it means how much time, how much effort are you putting in with your family? It was phenomenal, man. I can't, I can't explain how much I learned, um, how much I, I gained, how much knowledge was just in the room alone. But the one thing that I wanted to do this weekend was I didn't want to just get a whole bunch of information and go back home and keep living the same way. So not only did I get this information this time, but I'm actually going to apply everything that we talked about. And we actually did an activity where you had to build your own, uh, basically like your own um, format of how you gonna implement everything that you need to do in order to get to where you want to go. Everything got to get on pause because we have to make sure that the foundation is, is solid or the root is solid, right? Because if the root is not great, so the, the CFO is coming in and doing a complete scrub, a complete audit of the finances, 
things will shift, things will change, cards will be cut up, cards will be locked. Um, certainly, yeah, approvals will be needed on stuff. People are gonna have to get let go because we gotta get tight. In order, we make the, we sell, write this down, S-E-L-L, -L, sacrifice early, live later. You do business so you can stay in business the next day. So you can stay in business another month. And as you continue another quarter, and so if we can continue to stay in business, then in the long game, in that three to five year period, we put ourselves in the best position for success. Your greatest strength as a chameleon can be your biggest weakness. And so that little season that you had, where you went from having to know which way it's going, and where now you're like, I don't really know which way it's going, but he's making you feel stable because of the environments that he's putting you in. He's completely changing your thought process and is making you more and more comfortable in this new season coming all the way. You need to be here. If you missed it this time, you need to definitely sign up for the next one in September. Just the nuggets that you will get from a personal perspective, but also from um, marriage and just life in general will be transforming. Spending more time with family and really not focusing on balancing business and, and, and life, but more so of getting into the rhythm of spending more time with family, spending more time with just me and learning who I am in order to be great in business. I would say for the people that's on the fence, get off of the fence. This is something very, very, very important because we can't discuss business without discussing life. So if you're on the fence, get off the fence, save your money up. I don't care if you got to sell a pair of Jordans. I don't care if you got to sell a, a car. I don't care what you got to do to get here, but get here. So part of this is taking everybody out of their comfort zone and helping you to really become intentional and accountable on executing what you say. That's why, like, this weekend was never designed for me or anybody else to just come up here and just talk. It is designed for you guys to say, this is what we're going to do. And then as a, as a mastermind, be able to help each other get to where we need to be as far as accountability goes in life and in business. That's what's important. Like, it's both. It's both or none. Right? Not one or the other.